Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another video. Hopefully it's tips like today's that keep you coming back to the channel. And if you like it, make sure you hit that subscriber button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, because honestly, I feel like this is a tip that can help you catch a few more bass. This goes back for me a while. I was fishing a tournament back on Lake Gunnersville, and I had a co-angler who was catching them pretty good behind me throwing what I think at the time was a Senko. I guess I don't know that for sure, but it was a five inch baby bass colored soft stick bait. And I remember watching him after he caught a fish because he was rigging the bait up and I saw him doing something that was pretty unusual. At least I don't see many people doing, but he was catching a pile of them. And what he was doing was taking a Sharpie and literally coloring the back bait part of the bait. He was just going around coloring the back. And at the time I was like, what are you, know, what are you doing? Like, where's, where's this coming from? What's the idea of a black tip on a, on a, you know, on a soft stick bait. And it was funny because at the time he kind of gave me a look like, well, why is that weird? And for me, it was weird because you don't ever see that color. Like it's not a common color that you can find. And so we got talking about it and he's like, well, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to make my bait look like the forge. And I was like, what do you mean by that? And he goes, well, it looks like a little bass because largemouth bass have black tips. And more so than largemouth bass, most species in a lot of lakes actually tend to have a black tip on their tail. A lot of places with their bluegill have it. A lot of your rough fish have it. You know, a lot of your shad species even will have dark tails to them. So to him, it was common sense. To me, as somebody who is a tackle junkie, and I'm always looking at all the different products and colors coming out, I was like, that is not a common color. So I actually started doing this quite a bit, not necessarily with a Sharpie, but you can go buy uh, like spike it dyes that you could dip the tails in. And I've had really good success on it. Uh, this is something that I've done for years now. I actually uh, have gone to Florida and found out since that first experience that a lot of guys in Florida are doing this and having really good success. So much so that, and this is going to sound like an infomercial, but it was pretty cool that Berkeley with the Maxent General just came out with their green pumpkin black tip tail. And my understanding is it's to satisfy the guys in Florida. Now this color is very difficult to find. The only place I know that you can get it is actually on the Pure Fishing website. Uh, I don't think Tackle Warehouse has it. If, it. if they do, I'll put the link to the uh, to the page so you can check it out and support the channel at the same time. But the idea here is that this is a really popular bait that's starting to catch on when you have a black tip like that. And it just has to do with matching the forage. And since that first experience I've had, I have done a lot of looking you know, at this bait in the water. And it's funny how the black does almost give off a little bit of a translucent apparent appearance, like a fish's tail in the water. And I do feel like it gives a good look, especially with your soft stick baits, because uh, soft stick, stick baits, when they sink, will actually kind of vibrate back and forth a little bit, which looks like a fish's tail wagging back and forth. So if you have not tried this yet, I highly recommend it, guys. Whether you can find a bag of the Maxen Generals with the black tip, whether you can buy some black uh, spike it dye, or you want to do the old Sharpie trick, you can make it work. And I'm telling you, this is something you might want to try. I actually found the winning fish in lacrosse throwing this bait. Now, the problem was I only had one pack. I've only got one more pack right now, and it was on my shelf, so I couldn't use it. And I'm not going to say... You know, it it hurt me to go with just a green pumpkin version, but I didn't have any black dye with me either at the time. The point here is you got to give it a try. It really is something that has a very natural appearance in the water, and it's something that's catching on in a lot of different regions in the country because it does such a good job at mimicking your largemouth and your, you know, some of your bluegill species and a lot of the other forage species for bass. Uh, just a very natural look. It's not a big bright bait moving around, but give it a try. Either find yourself some black tipped soft stick baits like this Maxent the General, 
or go get you some dye and uh, different marker pens and you can do it yourself. But just a simple tip, something that's definitely catching on. And uh, I think it can catch you a few extra fish. So hopefully you enjoyed this tip. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.